Amy Sale posted recently an entry on the blog, on the Tech Exchange blog, about the Turla attack group. If you are not familiar with it, these are uh, some Russian guys that are they're not new, but they keep evolving and adding more techniques and getting involved with other groups into sharing their attacks. How do I detect those? Well, there is a package in Curator that is uh, precisely created for that. But I want to do a detailed video about this because it comes with 380 rules. That's a lot of rules uh, to include. And even though the package was released relatively recently, it has quite a few downloads already, right? Okay, so a couple of things. Uh, if you look in the documentation, you get to see all the custom properties and building blocks and all the rules and all those components. Uh, how is it that, uh, that they came up with all these uh, rules so quickly? Well, let me show you. In the documentation, when you see the details of all the building blocks and rules, you see that they are based on Sigma rules, right? And they uh, even give credit to the, the one who created the rules. So very many of them uh, are created by that. And I'm going to have a subsequent video on a very cool way of converting any Sigma rule. Uh, there's a guy called Froth who seems to you know, as soon as we hear about a malware, boom, he gets the, the Sigma rule created and the Jara uh, created. So I'm going to do a video later on that show how you can convert those into rules in Curator, which is basically what this uh, team did, right? Now, w when you have, when you add 380 rules into your system, chances of getting some false positives uh, are actually there. The more logic that you put, the more chances for that to, to do. How do you deal with that? So let's say that you get a particular rule, which is not the case. I, I, I haven't uh, I installed the package, but I have not uh, run attacks to it to, to make the rule fire. But one way of uh, dealing with it would be to just go and to display the rules that fire, uh, copy the actual name of the rule, and then go to the use case manager uh, to see whether that is the rule that have actually uh, fired. So you paste it here on the rule name. Oops. Right. Let me grab it. Paste it there and then uh, you search for that rule and you can actually analyze that, uh, disable it if you think that this is firing completely on a false positive side or whatever it is that you consider doing. Now, other two ways of leveraging the use case manager for that, there is a group, once you install that app, there is a group just for that package itself. Uh, it is here, right? And you can actually apply that filter and, and analyze the rules and make sure that they don't have those triangles that, you know, that you have them, uh, you have the log sources, obviously, for it. and Which, in this case, is, is obviously Windows log. So you go here and then take a look at their log sources. But you, you know, that you want to make sure that you are collecting Windows logs from the entities that, that you want uh, to detect these uh, tool type of attacks. The other thing that you can actually also do is after you have installed this package, you can go under uh, on the use case manager. Let me actually go back here, go under uh, uh, activi active rules and select, you know, the, the say I'm going to go back uh, past week, whatever, and then apply the filter and see which are the rules that are firing. And then you can see out of those, which are the ones that are uh, part of the new Turla package. Again, 380 rules are nice to add, but you don't want to uh, clog your console with, with uh, uh, false positive. So again, excuse me for making this video a little longer, uh, other than you saying, hey, this good uh, package uh, the, for Turla is out there, go and install it. I just wanted to give a quick caveat and also leverage on, on the 
great features that the use case manager has for administering the rules that you put in your QRL system.